99%. We are the 99%. The 99%. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. And I am the 99%. Because this is where they buy the politicians. Because this is where power has its seat. Because 99% of us are suffering at the mercy of the madmen on this street. Because all of us are victims of class warfare. I believe in this movement is because I do believe there's too much money from corporations and people who have the opportunity to put those kind of funds into the political system feel like there's too much money there and they are writing the regulations and they are getting the bailouts and the government seems to not be working in the favor of the people anymore. Because the last time that we had a decent government was about 1932. Because we the people are supposed to run this country, but instead it's run by and for the few. I'm constantly amazed that, that the powers that be have gotten away with this to the degree that they have because, you know, as far as the environment goes, I, it's, it's too bad for our children's children's children because there is no scientific magic bullet that's going to come along and, you know, change, change all this. You know? How much wealth has, you know, transferred up from the bottom classes up to the top 1%. Uh, and I mean, that's happened through outsourcing, it's happened through just, you know, serious downsizing, and, you know, not to mention legislation that favors the rich, gives them all the loopholes. So I think, and, and I know that, you know, I agree, we need a balanced budget, but we don't need to balance it on the backs of the poor and middle classes. The issues that these folks are raising about the inequities in the society, it's real. How do we address that for them to have a future, to get a decent education, to have social security for them when they get to 65? They have to rein that in today. So we're going to stay right here. lost their savings because I have never opened an account because the interest on my credit card just doubled and now I can't pay the minimum amount because these budget cuts are just immoral when our schools is overcrowded as they are because there are no buses where I live. worried about my kids future I think our politicians are in the hands of the wealthy 1%. We need to shake up our politicians. We need to take money out of our politics. These corporations who have been coddled, who have been given tax breaks, who have been deregulated without law and order, who have not been prosecuted for their Wall Street crimes that collapse the economy on the backs of American workers, taxpayers, and investors, they have no allegiance to our country. That's why the phrase occupy is very important because they've taken the country from us and we're going to reoccupy it and run it for the people of this country. Solidarity with my fellow brothers, exercising my constitutional rights, and I also want uh, the corporation's money out of my politics. It is about ending corporate leverage over politics you will not have true democracy in this country until you take the money out of politics. As long as Republicans and Democrats, you know, both are guilty, right? You hear Obama talking about raising 70 million and you hear all of the billionaires lining up to, to now give money to Romney. Until you take money out of politics and to remove the special interests, right? The thrust that the special interests have, then you'll never have common people here getting their voice is hurt. Because capitalism isn't working, this system has just failed to produce. Because one percent is prospering, while the rest of us just suffer their abuse. So we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna stay right here. This is 
a movement that's gonna keep going and it shouldn't stop and it won't stop until righteousness prevails. Exactly.